And here's the craziest thing about life. This is the thing that nobody really considers. You know as much about what life is all about as anybody who's ever lived ever. That's the craziest fucking thing about us. We're all just kind of wandering through this going, do you know what you're doing? Yes. <laughs> oh, I do too. I know what I'm doing. Okay, good then. <laughs> but really, no one has a fucking clue. <laughs> but we never bring it up. You remember when you were a kid and you thought they were real grown-ups? <laughs> you remember that shit? You remember? What you, you know what I'm talking about, motherfucker. <laughs> all the people love to pretend they know what the fuck is going on. We're all full of shit. When I was a kid, I thought they were grown-ups. Didn't you? Like, you were crying, you got sent to your room, like, you know what, one day I'm gonna be a grown-up and everything's gonna make sense. <laughs> then one day, you're like 25 at the supermarket and the bag boys calls you sir, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> How'd that happen? Shit! You mean I'm a grown-up? Oh my God, are we fucked? You mean nobody knows? We're all, we're all just zombies walking through this life? Shit! The real problem is, most of us are idiots. We just like to think we're not idiots because we use a bunch of shit that smart people have figured out. But how many of us understand any of that shit? Think about the technological level that this world operates on. How many of us really understand that? What if everybody out there died and we had to take over the world? How well do you think we'd do? Yeah, terrific, we would do awesome. Yeah, does anybody know how any of this shit works? Why is that loud? Any idea? I've been a comedian for 16 fucking years. I have no idea what's in there. I don't know, some loud shit? I don't know. What makes that bright? Bright shit? I don't know. Think about all the stuff you need to run your life. Computers and Palm Pilots and cell phones. How many of you know how to make any of that shit? I mean, if I left you alone in the woods with a hatchet, how long before you could send me an email? <laughs> we are not smart. We buy shit from smart people. I don't have a camera on my phone because I'm smart. If you left me on an island for a fucking million years, I could never figure out how to put a camera in a phone. I don't even know what a camera is. I know I press a button and a picture shows up. What happens between me pressing that button and the picture showing up is anybody's fucking guess. There might be leprechauns and spray paints fucking gremlins up the ass. All I know is megapixel. You gotta say that to get the good shit. I don't even know what a megapixel is. It's like a noise you make with your mouth. Megapixel. Oh, you're clever. You are clever. Who knows uh, people who know that shit? Does anybody know anybody who's invented anything? Who are they? Is anybody watching them? Making sure they're alive and making sure that somebody makes kids with them? No, no one's paying attention. I think what's gonna happen one day is the smart people are just gonna die and they're gonna leave us with a bunch of shit we don't understand. I think it's gonna be no warning. We're just gonna be sitting around having a good time, having a couple drinks. Power's just gonna shut off. Mm. Everybody's gonna get out the lighter. Way to go, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Can't even keep the power on. What the fuck? <laughs> and what do you do when the power goes out? I don't know what you do, but what I do is usually I sit around and I wait. <laughs> Cause I figure this is the guy who fixes that shit. He's probably working on it right now. How long would it take before you figured out that all the smart people are dead? It would take years. All right, you'd have to run out of batteries. You'd be like, dude, I don't know how to make a fucking battery. What do we do? Shit! Listen, just get together with a torch, okay? Get a torch. We're all gonna meet in the street. We're gonna work this out. It's gonna be cool. Stand out in the street with your torch. What's up, fag? <laughs> Dude, you know how to get the power on? I thought you did. No. All right, keep me posted. You too. <laughs> Shit. We'd just be sitting in our house with torches. That would work. Until animals realize we don't have electricity anymore and they start sneaking around cities, checking shit out. 
And then you realize there's no loud noises to scare them off anymore. And bears just start grabbing people. <laughs> Then we just realize we're fat and slow, and you don't even have to catch us. You scare us, we'll just black out. It's a matter of time before they start eating us. More evolution. But not me, motherfucker. I got guns. All right? I got bullets. I'm going to be fine. So I run out of bullets, and I don't want to make a fucking bullet. Do you? <laughs> Shit! Dude, there's bears out there. We don't even have bullets. What the fuck do we do? Listen, man, we got to get out of the city. We're sitting ducks. This is what I think we should do. Let's move back into the caves. People live in caves again. Dude, it's safer in the caves, bro. Just fucking guard the entrance with sharp, pointy sticks. <laughs> and then we would just get down to a core group of survivors fighting off the bears. And within one or two generations, we would forget everything. Trigonometry, calculus, that shit's gone. So it's, ne it's gone. It's gone. It's never gonna happen again. It would take thousands of years. You'd have to reinvent electricity. Within 100 years, we would think the world is flat and the sun is 17 miles away. <laughs> Just like the people that wrote the Bible. That's what they thought. Isn't that funny? <laughs> ah! <laughs> we would just get down to a core, devolve to a core group of survivors and let them re-evolve and rediscover the earth. How crazy would that be? How crazy would a caveman discovering downtown Phoenix be? <laughs> Just coming out of the cave with his fucking club and his buddies. Like, dude, who fucking built all this shit? <laughs> Bro, it had to be aliens. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, it's aliens. I can't do that. You do that? Neither can I. What the fuck? <laughs> See, I think this has happened before. I think it explains the pyramids. And yeah, I was really high when I thought this up. <laughs> but it makes sense. They, if you ever watch a documentary on the pyramids, they have no idea how they made those things. They, they take, well, we believe they use levers, but this is all that you need to know. They know they're there, so they know somebody made it. But all you need to know about the Great Pyramid of Giza is 2,300,000 stones that weigh between 2 and 80 tons. Some of them were cut from a quarry that was 500 miles away. No machines, no trucks, no steel. They had copper tools, and they were perfectly cut. And you couldn't get a razor blade in between these rocks, and they're perfectly aligned to true north, south, east, and west. And if you cut and place 10 of these monstrous stones a day, it would take you 664 fucking years to make one pyramid. All brought to you by people who thought the god Ra took the sun across the sky in a canoe. And returned later that evening with the moon. They had 16 year old queens. Cleopatra was 16 when she was running shit. That's like Lindsay Lohan being queen of the world. And they built that. They built that? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, because I have another theory. I think people used to be really, really, really fucking smart. But the dumb ones just out fuck the smart ones. That's what I think. I think we are all the bastard children of the idiot stone workers of Egypt. I think at one point there was a master race and they were reading each other's minds and they were free of ego and they were totally honest and they were mapping out the cosmos and behind them, the stone workers just fucked away. <laughs> oh, look, he looked just like me. That's my fella right there. <laughs> They just, just took over. And one day, the smart people just died. There's probably no warning. So one day, the idiot showed up at the pyramids. Hello? Anybody in there? We're supposed to get our checks on Friday. A lot of boys got overtime coming. The holiday is right around the corner. Have you no heart? <laughs> I 
Then eventually they realized the smart people were all dead. What do you want to do? I think for now we should just move into the pyramids, then we'll figure it all out. And that's what they did. They just moved in. And then they just started lying about it. After like a couple of generations, who built this? We did? We're the best. We're number one. Egypt. Egypt. Look at that beautiful flat wall. That's craftsmanship, son. I think I will draw stick figures on it. This is a woman. She's carrying fruit upon her head. That's important to document. And this is a man, but he has the head of a dog. And he's evil. Are you sure they made that? They wrote in stick figures, dude. Why do you think we get so pussy whipped? It's just, it's, oh, you just give up, okay? Dick whipped? That's a fucking myth. Pussy whipped is some real shit. I've been pussy whipped in every relationship I've ever been in, ever. I always start off really good, too. You always start off, you're going to learn from the last one. Listen, I don't want to tell you what to do. You don't tell me what to do. How's that? Let's just not label this. Let's just enjoy each other's company. Oh, my God, totally. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I am so tired of guys trying to marry me and own me. Holy. That's what they always say. But what they mean is, here's my plan. I'm 29, and I would really like to have a family. And I don't think you're really into that right now, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend that I don't care for, like, three months. I'm going to fuck the shit out of you. I'll wake you up, blowing you in the morning. I'll make you breakfast. I'll clean your dog shit in your backyard. And you don't even have to ask. And then I'm going to start to cry. <laughs> Right when I know you're fully in love, right when I know I got you, then I'm like, I don't know where this is going. And we'll see what happens then. Ha ha! The same shit happens every time. I fucking panic. I panic and I give in. As soon as they say, listen, maybe we should spend time apart, which means some other dude is going to gorilla fuck your girlfriend. You know that's what that means. Some dude is going to just stuff her in the corner of the couch. And, oh, fuck. She's like, oh, my God, come in my face. I love that. Ah! You don't think she just likes it when you do it. No, she likes loads in her face. It's fun for her. Some guy's going to be fucking her face. And she's Ah! We know that you can get laid. It takes a while for us to get laid. We got to put in groundwork. We got to hunt down. We got we to do a lot of shit. You can just go, what the fuck? Me, I do. I do. You can just start calling those dudes that are your friends. Just call them up. All those guys you used to date. We're just friends. Come on. No, we're really good friends. Come on. We're very good friends. We're very close. Those guys are just hungry wolves. Sniffing the phone line for weakness. <laughs> hey, what's up? How you been? Oh my God, what a surprise. I haven't talked to you forever. I'm so glad we stayed friends. Yay, me too, me too. <laughs> so what's, uh, what's new? You still dating that guy? Oh, you know what? I really don't want to talk about that right now. It's like, if you just talked to me just a little while ago, like maybe we could deal with this, but it's just like, you know, whatever. I mean, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? I just, no, I don't want to be the girl talking to her ex-boyfriend about the problems she's having right now with her current boyfriend. I just think that's fucked up. Hey, li listen, listen, Michelle, okay? <laughs> You're my friend, <laughs> all right? Listen, I love you. I love you, and I'll always love you. No matter what happens between us, I want you to be happy. All right? If I can give you some kind of advice to help you, then I'm going to give you the right advice. Now talk to me. You're right. I'm sorry. It's just... Here's the deal. 
Ever since we moved in together, we fucking never have sex anymore. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Are you serious? What's up with that? I don't know. I mean, it's like I'm fucking fat or something. I mean, what? I hey, listen. It's not you. Okay, listen. You should not be alone right now. What are you doing? Look, I'm like a mile from your house. Do you want to? You want to like sit down and have some coffee? I really think I, that would be awesome. I could really use a friend right now. <laughs> We're just friends. We stay in touch.